Meghan Markle and Prince Harry left Rome after celebrating the wedding of the Duchess of Sussex's close friend, designer Misha Nanu. The royal couple were seen arriving at Leonardo da Vinci International Airport on Saturday. For the outing, Meghan opted for her Emporio Armani cream cashmere coat, which she had previously worn in January. Meghan and Harry had been in Rome since Thursday, when they arrived via a commercial airline. In just a couple of days, the pair will depart on their royal tour of Africa, bringing along son Archie. The family of three will arrive in Cape Town, South Africa, on Monday. Nanu tied the knot to American technology entrepreneur Michael Hess in a star-studded ceremony at Villa Aurelia on Friday. Meghan wore a two-leavening dress with sheer, puff sleeves and crystal embellishments from Valentino for the occasion, while Harry was classic in a black tux. Other VIP guests included Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner, Carly Kloss and Joshua Kushner, as well as Harry's cousins Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Nanu has been a close friend of Meghan's for several years, and it has been speculated that she helped introduce Meghan and Harry. The Bahrain-born businesswoman, who was raised in London, has long run in royal circles. Until 2016, Nanu was married to Padulate founder Alexander Gilks, who is one of Harry's closest friends. Shortly after Meghan met Harry, she and Nanu took a trip to Spain together. Nanu also attended the couple's royal wedding last year as well as Meghan's baby shower in February. Meghan recently turned to her pal to design a crisp white shirt for her capsule collection on behalf of the Smart Works charity. At the launch, Nanu told aligned so closely with my values of empowering women and dressing women for their professional pursuits, so there was no way I'd say no to it. I was asked specially to do the white shirt because that's our signature. It was actually a very, very easy process. The Duchess is a consummate professional. It's been a real pleasure to work with everyone on the team. She is an extraordinarily supportive, kind and loving friend, Nanu told after the launch of the collection. From the beginning of our relationship we bonded over our shared ethos about supporting other women, it was something that we absolutely felt, and as friends who support each other over the years, you see that. As Prince Harry and Meghan Markle jetted out of Rome on Saturday, newlywed Misha Nanu sat down with Ivanka Trump, Coralie Kloss, Scooter Braun, Wendy Deng Murdoch and both Kushner brothers for lunch a day after tying the knot with oil heir Marky Hess. They dined at Hotel de Russie where Nanu and her new husband are staying along with his parents. The guests dined in the hotel's manicured courtyard, Jardin de Russie, beneath a canopy of umbrellas, seemingly nursing hangovers from the night before. Misha stuck to a bridal white dress coat, wearing an ivory shirt and yellow skirt. Ivanka sported a $795 Zimmerman dress while Carly, her supermodel sister-in-law whose wedding she skipped earlier this year, opted for a red outfit. The hotel's bedrooms cost around £800 $1, a night. A plate of pasta on the garden restaurant's menu costs around €24. Euros. The hotel is also where Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom were staying, though they were not seen in the party. The lunch on Saturday came ahead of a second, stocking party for the Mikey and Misha's guests. Saturday's evening party will take the form of a black tie gala and will serve as the third event of the weekend. On Thursday night, guests including Katy Perry and her fiancé Orlando Bloom were seen dining at one of Rome's oldest restaurants along with members of the bridal party. Friday evening was when the actual wedding ceremony took place. Meghan wore a $14,000 Valentino gown for the occasion. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are skipping the newlywed fashion designer's extravagant post-nuptials party tonight to collect their baby son Archie before they all jet off to South Africa tomorrow. The royal couple were zipped through the streets of the Italian capital in a slick-tinted window Mercedes from the £1,200 a night hotel where they had been staying. Meghan left the car with a camel-colored coat slung over her shoulder before being hurried into the Leonardo da Vinci airport where they boarded a plane back to the UK. The £1,700 Emporio Armani cashmere double-cloth jacket was last worn by Meghan in January. Those hoping to get their hands on it will be disappointed however, as it's now sold out. 
On Friday, the Sussexes were seen beaming as they mingled with the upper echelons of high society who were attending the marriage of Misha and oil tycoon Mikey Hess. But the family's hotly anticipated trip to the Africa, which kicks off in Cape Town on Monday, will see Meghan strike a more serious tone as she addresses the burning problem of gender violence. The at Sussex Royal Instagram account, which boasts 9.4 million followers, today trailered the tour by posting an Africa-centered quiz. As well as asking how old Prince Harry, 35, was when he first visited Africa, the page quizzed, how many Queen's Commonwealth Canopy initiatives has the Duke of Sussex unveiled? It is believed royal aides shared the social media post on their behalf, as the Sussexes were still in Rome for the wedding. During their trip to Rome, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stayed in the exclusive Hotel Villon, a stone's throw from some Italy's most famous landmarks including the Spanish Steps and Trevi Fountain. Fashion designer Misha and oil tycoon Mikey Hess invited a small lunch for her closest friends Dash including the Sussexes, at the Cine City Film Studios where the married couple are hosting a star-studded gala dinner this evening. Rome Daily newspaper Il Messagro reported, a few hours before the wedding Misha hosted a small lunch for her and Michael's closest friends at the Cine City Film Studios where they will hold a starlight dinner this evening. Celebrities began arriving to the gala dinner this evening for what is being dubbed the party of the year. The first of a fleet of Mercedes limousines with darkened windows swept into the drive-in entrance of the Italian film production complex on the outskirts of Rome at about 5.30 p.m. Guests, including actor Orlando Bloom and singer Katy Perry, are expected to arrive throughout the evening with a sit-down dinner at around 9 p.m. The gala dinner is being held inside a private set and is themed as La Dolce Vita the era when Rome was the height of 1960s glamour and American film stars would flock to the Italian capital. The party is expected to last late into the night with loud music permitted until 1 a.m. and quieter sounds allowed until 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Meanwhile details of the boutique bolt hole where the royal couple have been enjoying their Roman holiday have emerged. Locals have revealed to Mail Online how hotels narrow street in the heart of Roman's historical center has become clogged with plain-clothed policemen, limousines with blacked-out windows and paparazzi photographers on high-powered scooters since Thursday, the day of the royal's arrival. A road sweeper said he had even got a glance of Prince Harry. Council worker Antonio Tutti told Mail Online, I saw your Prince Harry come out of the hotel yesterday when I was tidying after the market. But I only saw the top of his wife's head. They were getting into a limousine. This place has been crawling with cops the past three days. I was starting to wonder who was staying at the hotel. Market trader Simona Moglioco added, There have been plainclothes police outside the hotel for days. They have been standing around trying not to act suspicious but we all know what's going on, there are celebrities staying at the hotel. But it was only yesterday that I found out it was Meghan and your Prince Harry. I think she's really nice," Ms. Moglioco added, as she cleaned and prepared bunches of rocket salad for her family fruit and veg stall. Meghan and Harry are believed to have spent their two-night stay in the Borghese A suite of the boutique hotel, which has been completely booked out for the duration of the three-day wedding celebrations. The second-floor suite features a king-size bed, and private sitting room furnished with Art Deco furniture. They had the run of a 23-square-meter marble bathroom, equipped with a walk-in double rain shower, double sink and freestanding bath. Two large windows lead from the master bedroom to a furnished 13-square-meter private terrace with a view of secret gardens below. The royal couple are believed to have checked into the Hotel Villon late on Thursday evening and are expected to return to London today, Saturday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will fly to Africa tomorrow. Meghan is expected to begin the visit by adding her voice to the thousands who have spoken out about the rising violence against women in South Africa. Meghan, who is a champion of gender equality, is likely to raise the issue when her tour of South Africa with husband Harry and their son Archie starts on Monday. The couple's first event will be a visit to a township in Cape Town, where they will tour a workshop that provides a range of services to young people, including self-defense classes and female empowerment training to young girls in the community.
campaigners took to the streets of Cape Town earlier this month to protest at what they claimed was their government's failure to deal with the problem, following a series of attacks that have shocked the African nation. It is understood Meghan and Harry watched the South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's address to his country following days of protests, when he acknowledged the African nation was facing a national crisis of violence against women. The former actress is an active humanitarian campaigner, particularly on the topic of gender equality, who has spoken about women's empowerment. Meghan's activism famously started at a young age. At 11 she forced a soap manufacturer to alter an advert after she wrote a letter to then First Lady Hillary Clinton and other high-profile figures complaining that it implied women belonged in a kitchen. The Sussex's first tour as a family comes after the Duke and Duchess flew to Rome to watch Meghan's close friend, fashion designer Michian Anu, marry oil tycoon Michael Hess on Friday. Among the guests at the lavish celebration were Harry's cousins Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice. U.S. President Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner, and actor James Corden. Harry will travel to Angola during his Africa tour, to pay homage to Diana's work campaigning for landmines to be outlawed during a visit she made to the country in 1997. A post about the tour on the Royals' official Instagram account said, the Duke is especially proud to continue the legacy left by his mother with her work in Angola as he joins Halo Trust again in an effort to rid the world of landmines. Harry will also pay tribute to a British soldier killed by an elephant during anti-poaching operations in Malawi when he visits the country to focus attention on efforts to protect endangered animals. Highlights of the trip will see the Duke and Duchess visit a township near Johannesburg where they will learn about a project tackling rising unemployment. The royals will visit Africa from September 23 to October 2, and while Meghan and Archie will spend the duration in South Africa, Harry will leave his family to tour Angola, Malawi and Botswana before being reunited with them in Johannesburg. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said, the Duke of Sussex's love for Africa is well known, he first visited the continent at the age of 13 and more than two decades later, the people, culture, wildlife and resilient communities continue to inspire and motivate him every day. Harry's first trip came in the months after.